Do you keep leopard geckos? If so, you already understand exactly how marvelous these animals are. And if not, then today we're going to be giving you five reasons why you should be. I'm your boy Smith. This is Leo. We're all things living. Let's go. Coming in at reason number five, these animals are super low maintenance, very easy to care for. Whether you just have a 20 gallon, you can go anywhere from like 20 gallon all the way to as big as you want. Me, personally, I am now keeping all of my leopard geckos in a tub system now. They're doing better than they were in the enclosures. However you decide to keep them is up to you. You can keep them in tub systems or you can give them these elaborate bioactive enclosures. Like I said, it's really just up to you. Yeah, but these animals do well regardless very easy to feed, very easy to maintain. Whether you're doing under tank heat or over tank heat or a combination of the two, it's okay. These animals are pretty um hardy. Also, very easy to take care of. It's not gonna break the bank. Whether you're paying for the animal or the animal's enclosures or the, the food items, these animals are relatively easy to take care of even cleaning their enclosures. All of my leopard geckos literally find one area in their enclosure to do their business, and they only do their business in that one area. It's kind of cool. They kind of like potty train themselves. It's kind of dope, right? So cleaning is easy. Feeding is easy. These animals are just absolutely amazing. They're adorable. What else can I say, right? And like I was saying, depending on how you do your setup is going to depend on how much you spend, but you don't have to go crazy, but you can if you decide to. If you decide you want th this big elaborate enclosure, do it. This animal will be out and exploring that and they will explore every inch of that enclosure, I promise you. So it's really just up to you. Now, our next reason for keeping leopard geckos is these animals are easy to handle. Incredibly easy to handle. They're good for people of all ages, keepers of all levels, whether you're a beginner or an expert, whether you're you're six years old or you're 60, these animals are really good for handling. As you see, he's been just hanging out, getting warm on my hand this entire time. He hasn't tried to run away. He hasn't tried to jump. None of that. He's, he's not scared of my hand motions. He's not scared of my voice. Very easy to handle these animals. In fact, in a lot of cases, I, I feel like they they like it. They, they want to, to have some type of interaction. I think they really just like how much heat we put off. They like getting warm on us and finding a nice spot to just kind of, like I said, warm up. But um, as you see, he's not stressed out. I'm not grabbing him at all. All of my fingers are free. He's just hanging out. This is what leopard geckos do. Well, well in a lot of cases, they're going to be moving up and crawling all over you. But he's just kind of chilling and hanging out, doing his thing. It's kind of cool. Like I said, these animals are incredibly easy to handle, um, whether beginner or intermediate. That'll also probably depend on the way you build your enclosure or how you go about your enclosure. Like I said, I've, I've learned a lot over the years with these animals and I'm, I'm just using tub systems now. We're gonna make all of their tub systems bioactive, but um, yeah, I'm just using tub systems now and they all behave better. They're um, putting on more weight, holding more weight. So we're just gonna roll like that for, for now and see how it goes. But yeah, these animals are super dope, easy to handle as you see. You can pass them off to a child, someone older. It really doesn't matter. They handle pretty well. Now, our next reason for keeping leopard geckos, if you're not already, is these animals are relatively inexpensive, right? You're not gonna break the bank. I spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on rare reptiles. Now, if you're looking for a base morph, you can find a base morph leopard gecko for $30, $40, right? But when you start adding morphs to it, and this is something we're gonna talk about in a second, but then the price starts to go up a little bit. But on a base level, these animals are relatively inexpensive. You're not gonna break the bank on the animal or the setup for the animal. So this is just another really good reason 
to keep leopard geckos if you're not already keeping them. Save yourself a little bit of money, get some experience under your belt, then move on to bigger projects, right? Or just stick with these. These animals are very rewarding. I have a whole breeding project I'm working on right now with leopard geckos, and I, like I said, I absolutely love these animals. Um, we're taking we're, this. This is something I'm probably going to be doing forever. Leopard geckos. You should you should get into them. They're amazing, man. Um, like I said, very inexpensive project to get up up and start it, right? Now, our next reason for keeping leopard geckos here at All Things Living, it's the morphs, right? These animals come in a whole host of colors, from like your lavender purples, to like yellows and oranges, to deep reds with green in them, to whites and yellows, all whites. I have one that looks almost black. These animals come in so many different colors. That's another reason why it's a very, very good project to start, right? You can you can kind of mix and match some colors. You got black and whites, you got all whites, reds, yellows, oranges. It's, it's just, these animals come in so many different colors, but that will also adjust your price, right? Like I said earlier, you could, you could find one of these animals relatively cheap they're relatively inexpensive, right? But if you start adding colors and morphs and stuff like that to it, then, then your price is gonna go up a little bit. And that is to be expected. Um, they, these people put a lot of work into making these animals look like this. So I understand. But yeah, these animals come in so many different colors. What's your favorite color? You may be able to find it on this gecko, literally. And our last reason for keeping these magnificent, beautiful animals is their incredible lifespan. <laughs> these animals are gonna be around for a long time. We're not talking five, 10 years. No, with, with the right care, you can expect your leopard gecko to live 20, 25 years plus, right? If you do it right, and that's a, a pretty, pretty big commitment, but it's relatively easy the entire time. <laughs> You're not going to be doing anything crazy. Uh, the cleaning is easy, feeding is easy, housing is easy, breeding is easy. Everything is easy with this animal. And then they live very, very long. So you can expect to have your animal around for years to come. Um, this is another reason why I think if you're not already working with these animals, you should be working with these animals. Um, they, they're going to give you a level of experience that a lot of animals will not. You know, they're going to stick with you for years and you're going to learn a lot. Even just working with the same animals over the, the different generations. These animals have an incredible lifespan. They're friendly, outgoing, cheap. They come in a lot of morphs and colors. Just beautiful animals. I love them. And that right there, guys, is five reasons you should be keeping leopard geckos. Uh, he wants to explore now, which is awesome. We're gonna let him do his thing. But um, I really do appreciate you coming out. If you want to learn more about other animals, consider subscribing to the channel. Stick around, I'd appreciate it. Anyways, I'm your boy Smith. This is Leo. We're out. <laughs>